All right, guys, let's get started and let me show you guys how you can manage your website files on your Google Cloud platform. First of all, uh, you need to uh, download a two piece of software. First, uh, you need to download a FileZilla, which is FTP client. Go to this website and go ahead, click on the download button, uh, download FileZilla client and you can download this software from here. I'll provide you the link in the description box of this video so that you can go ahead uh, download this software from that site. Next, go to this website. I'll also provide you the link in the description box of this video so you can download this putty key generator and uh, you can uh, scroll down you can see that uh, this is uh, how the software looks like and you have to click on this button download the putty installer package click on that and you will be land on this web page okay here you can uh, scroll down you can download this putty by clicking on this link since i already have both of these software so i'm not gonna download these two software again once you download and install the software now it's time to open up putty key generator so this is how this putty key generator looks like after installing it so here we're going to generate ssh key pair and to do that click on this generate button and now move your mouse cursor around this green area like this it will generate the ssh key file okay so now we have uh, the public key over here this text is a public key you can highlight this uh, entire text like this and we also have the option uh, for private key as you can see at the bottom uh, but make sure you highlight the text and copy it Control c and i want you to click on the save private key and here you can see we do have option uh, for key pass phrase uh, we can scare this if we like but for now i'm not gonna scare this via pass phrase so i would like to click on yes and now i have to save this ssh key file into my computer so i'm gonna name it putty key and click ok and now i just saved the ssh key file so don't close this buddy key generator yet. I want you to go to Google Cloud Platform. Click on this icon. And now I want you to go to Compute Engine and then click on Metadata. And here click on SSH Keys. And click on Add It. And click on Add Item. And in this field, I want you to paste that text that we copied from putty key generator which we called public key i want you to click on save and save your ssh key text information so now we have to open a filezilla which is a ftp client so guys this is a filezilla now go to edit and then click on settings and here uh, go to sftp click on that and in this field, we have to add SSH key file that we saved from uh, Putty Key Generator. Click on Add File and locate your uh, SSH key file from your computer and select your file and then click on Open. And as you can see, we have successfully added this SSH key file. I want you to click on OK. Now we need a host name and username. In order to get that, let's go to Google Cloud. First of all, let's click on this Google Cloud Platform text and go to dashboard of Google Cloud. And now let's click on this icon and let's go to Compute Engine and then go to VM Instance. Here, I want you to uh, uh, highlight your external IP and copy it. Select the same external IP which you wanna connect to. So in my case, I would like to connect uh, with this instance because my website file located in this instance so i like to select and copy the external ip of this instance now open filezilla under host field type sftp column backslash backslash and paste your external ip and uh, under the username we need a username information so are uh, we we're gonna get this well uh, let's open up a putty key generator so in party key generator, key comment will be your username. 
highlight it, copy it and paste over here like this. And next we don't need a username and port number. Simply click on quick connect and then click OK. So guys, as you can see, we have connected successfully with our server and now we can see our website files. So guys, let's go ahead and try to find out our WordPress website files. Let's go here and uh, let's see where it is. Let's go back by clicking on this. Uh, let's go back once again. It's not here. Let's simply click on home. Okay, let's go to Bitnami because uh, we have a Bitnami version of WordPress. And uh, let's try to go with this HD docs. I think it may not be there. Uh, no, it's not here. Let's go back. Okay, where it is. HD docs. Let's go here. No. Let's go back. Okay, let's uh, go to this Bitnami folder. Okay. Here, let's uh, click on apps. Okay, yeah, here. Now, let's go to WordPress. And uh, now you can see HD Docs. Open it up. All right, guys, this is our WordPress website files or WP content. Everything is over here. So guys, uh, go to Bitnami version of your WordPress, then go to apps and then WordPress and you will find your WordPress files. Everything is over here. So guys, uh, that's the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any question or if you have any suggestion for more videos, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.